name's Craig Jensen. This is San Marcos, Texas. Uh, and we're in my library uh, of the Book Lab 2 studio. I'm a limited edition bookbinder. Limited edition bookbinding is basically they're, they're books made by artists. Uh, and the, art, the artist may be a letterpress printer, may be a printmaker, may be a photographer, but these books are des designed and built at the highest artistic level that, you, you know, that can be achieved, and they're done in small quantities. Uh, the editions I work on tend to be between 50 and maybe 125 copies. I worked for the first 10 years of my career as a book conservator, basically repairing and um, dealing with older books in libraries and special collections. Um, when I left the library world in, uh, in the mid-80s, um, I thought I would do that same kind of work in a private practice. But I was introduced to a private press printer, a guy who ran the Plain Wrapper Press, Gabriel Rummins, and um, he consulted me on a structural issue related to the book he was publishing, and I got so intrigued by it, I asked him if I could bind the edition for him. And he agreed, and it just completely turned me on a dime. I just never wanted to look at an old book again. I wanted to make new books from then on. Most of my clients now, uh, they know what they want, and so we will discuss aspects of the structure at the outset so that they make decisions that will uh, have a positive impact on the, the way the book works, the book action. And also, if they have an idea of the materials they'd like to use on the book, um, I will possibly have some input in making those choices because some materials lend themselves to certain structures and other materials might not. I like to present myself as, as, a, as a book engineer, a book architect, as a structuralist, and, um, and they have their vision of what they want, and then I try to show them uh, the best way possible to uh, re realize their vision. This book here was, uh, the artist was um, Barbara Kruger, and the, the writer was uh, Stephen King. The story's called My Pretty Pony. It's, it's quite an elaborate production. It was, um, uh, I think pretty well received. I don't, I don't think it's considered one of the top Stephen King collector books, but um, it's definitely one that's relatively hard to get. And it's signed by Stephen King and Barbara Kruger. I think we did uh, 250 copies. This was a very challenging project. <laughs> I like the uh, mechanical aspect of the production. I'm really interested in designing systems for how to produce the books the, at the highest quality, and then I'm also quite drawn to um, the manufacturing process. I really enjoy doing that and you know, trying to make something in multiples that's the quality that might have often been just associated with a single item. Um, you can articulate details in the process or in the structure that couldn't be done by a machine. Um, and then controlling that repeatedly for an edition uh, is another challenge. I mean, it's, 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 it's technically challenging, but it's also physically challenging. Uh, it's, you know, it's, it's real work and it's hard work. And so you have to uh, you know, learn how to uh, manage that uh, and you know, physically manage what you're doing so that you consistently put out a high quality product. You know, making these books may not result in world peace, it might not end terrorism, it, you know, it, it, um, but it matters to the people that buy it, and um, it's art, it's a beautiful thing. And thank goodness human beings make art.